Hello, my creepies, and welcome back to the Mortuary. For those of you who are just stumbling in here, I am Reanimator, the queen of Scream. And this fuzzy little beast is Usa. She's always got to be here in the video. She's got to have her 15 minutes of fame. You'll get used to her. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you sit back and enjoy the show. And if you like what you see, stab that subscribe button stash that little notification button so you know when I go live or upload a video because you trust me you you aren't gonna want to miss that today we're gonna dive into a indie video game called blood wash blood wash is awesome horror indie game we're gonna go into the opening trailer we're gonna go into some of the gameplay the accessibility and my review on the game now this game is currently out on Steam and on itch.io so stay tuned for more. Let's go. Hello. May I sit beside you? There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? The laundromat on the outside of town. Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You're going to die tonight. What? Alright, let's get into a little bit about of what Bloodwash is. Bloodwash is a 2020 horror game developed by Jordan King and published by Torture Star Video. OMG, how do you not love that name, Torture Star Video? It's friggin' perfect. Epic. Good job with that name. Now, I know Torture Star Video reminds me of like the 80s and the mom and pop shops that I used to rent my horror movies from as a little monster and right there in that title it sold me alone uh, i do have to say a huge shout out to the horror cat she got me this game as a gift because she wanted to see me shit my pants and well shit my pants basically is what happened you can't tell because i was wearing brown pants no anyways um blood wash is a single player story mode game with ps1 style graphics it is narrative focused horror experience. It is Giallo inspired. And if you don't know Giallo, Giallo is Italian for yellow. And it's also known for its paperback novels that the cover was yellow. They are true crime and horror thriller type of films. Dario Argento is like one of the kings of Giallo. Anyways, this is a first person game. So anything can happen. Anything can sneak up on you. And let me friggin tell you, it does. It does. You will be drenched in gore all over the place. Like seriously, the game is pretty graphic. And you can play on a few different modes. So you can play on normal mode, or you can go into the settings and you can do VHS mode for a more grimier feel. I did have to change some of the settings because I do get a little motion sickness. My eyes get a little hurty when I watch certain type of gameplay. So I did utilize different settings and you can see that in later on in the video. Now, what is this game about? What the shit is Bloodwash? Okay, Bloodwash is a serial killer who is terrorizing the city and Sarah's deadbeat boyfriend hasn't done the laundry. Sarah's boyfriend, what the fuck, right? Get the laundry done. Anyways, can Sarah survive a late night trip to the laundromat or 
will the womb whipper perform an early delivery? Let's go and see. Yes, I said womb ripper. That is the serial killer's name. The serial killer does go after its prey as a pregnant woman. It loves pregnant women. So I did compile a couple of, a couple of awesome clips from my live stream over on Twitch. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy ride. Again, thank you, Horror Cat, for putting me onto this game. You rock. Horror Cat's uh, links are down below. She also got a YouTube channel here. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the screams. Uh, it smells like it hasn't been taken out in months. Let's see. Ah! Fuck you, you piece of fucking hobo, Joe bullshit. Fuck this guy. Who the fuck is he? Oh, what? Who the fuck is he? Fuck, this fuck you, buddy. Unfortunately, that hairy little beastie would win against Jason. Oh, Sailor Moon? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, back the fuck up. I don't look like a shish kebab to you. Hold on, I'm still fucking appalled by this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really hope you enjoyed that video and my first full on indie game horror review. Personally, I loved Blood Wash. I enjoyed the game completely. Uh, it's not an overly long game, so a couple of hours, three, three and a half hours of gameplay. Um, tons of fun. As you can see, I only put in a few jump scares because I didn't want to ruin the game for you if you've never played the game. On my computer, the game was smooth. Once I fiddled around with a few settings, I had to turn off a couple of things. Sometimes in horror indie games, the settings are, they're not optimized. Even though I have a beast of a computer, I still had uh, a couple issues and had to lower some settings. And if you need to know any of the settings, you can also uh, comment down below and I will help you out there. Um, the jump scares in this game are phenomenal. They are on point. You feel like you're already in the game. And there goes Fusa. Laid on me this entire time that I made this video. Anyways, um, the jump scares are on point. Uh, I swear to God, I thought my heart was going to jump out of my throat. If you are looking for a heart-pounding, hand-sweating horror game uh, that can be finished in a few hours, this is it. I do not think you will be disappointed by this game by any means. You can check this game out on Steam and Itch.io. It ran smooth. The, the controls are super easy. Point and click. Uh, you can't get much more better than that. I gave I, this game for me is a 10 out of 10. I loved every aspect of this game. Uh, I like the visual effects, the feel of the 80s, the PlayStation 1 style graphics, the story, the voiceover, the acting. The voice acting in this was awesome. I mean, really awesome. So hats off to you guys in the voice acting department. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I think you will enjoy it too. Oh, and before we end with this, when you're playing the game and you finish and you get to the end, make sure you stay completely because there is an extra surprise for you. Yes. I don't want to ruin it. You know what I mean? Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you got this far, please let me know down below. Let me know how far of this video you got. And if you actually enjoyed it, I would love to know. And if you're not already following, smash that button. Yes, smash it. I love you guys. I will slash this all later. And this is Reanimator out. Bye-bye.